FC Goa return to action in another top four clash as they visit the Kalinga Stadium to take on Orisha. Two teams tied on top of the table on points of course and a chance for Orisha to pull themselves back into what is shaping up to be a brilliant Hero ISL League title. Having conceded just once from open play, they know that Goa is the team that can break that record. Goa know this will not be easy. The grind, determination and grit shown by ATK the other night proves that. Bumu coming on the back of two goals, finding Koro twisting, but uh, can't create the angle. Bora has seen it. Uh, did see it out of play, but eventually a corner was given. Well, Bumu had so much time on the ball. There's a sign off the training pitch. Brandon Low, it's causing problems. Oh, exceptional almost from Bumu. Wow. What a turn. Great turn, great touch. Great reactions. I'm not sure where they came off the defender, the goalkeeper. Change of routine at the set piece. Did they hit Diagne? Twice now they've tried that. Lenny, high again, fall will go up, so will Doron Soro. Brendan chipped in. Didn't get enough elevation. It'll be the air goes for a deflection. And it's gone in. Doron Soro rooted to his spot. Well, a lot of good work suddenly. Goes down the pan. You know, you give a free kick away, dangerous area. And you know they've got players that can score from those free kicks. Been it right. Mandar asked Jackie. Oh! Arranges it. Wonder if he was looking for it. It's got to be offside, isn't it? Jackie, a bit of a smile. I think Coe's going to head the ball in. And whether he touches it or not, it's going to have an effect on what the goalkeeper does. Interfering in play, probably going to have a chat with the linesman. How can both sets of players be arguing with the referee? One's got to be agreeing with him, surely one's got to be arguing. Terribly to be two goals down. No, they haven't, they're just a little bit disorganised, a little bit of sixes and Boo -boo. sevens. Oh, third now! And this time there is no doubt about it. Bubu turns provider Jackie Chan Singh with a goal. Second, in fact. And Goa, in the space of a few minutes, have tripled their lead. Gambao doesn't know what to do. ATK in Bengaluru will be forced to win if it stays this way here. A fall. A bit of a risk. Oh, a bit of a leave. On Wu! Offside. Yeah. Wow, Brandon searching, calculating, Edubedia does the same, but it's over. They must have fancied that. Seriton, and Lenny outside him. Edubedia through the middle, Koro, oh, a bit of a nudge, but uh, Bumu was running as well. Did he get the last one? He thinks not. Referee's given a goal kick. Let's have a look. Especially the first half. That can change quickly. Chisco's delivery runs out wide towards Perez. He went for that attempt. The referee's taking a look at his watch and blows for half time. And it was that tiny window of uh, five odd minutes where Goa made Odisha pay for all their mistakes. Edu Bedia's free kick, which was deflected in by Vinit Rai. And then two for Jackie Chan Singh. And it's just something that we found out at half time. If you add up all the numbers, we spoke about Kalinga being such a fortress for Odisha so far. Three wins out of three. But uh, it's no surprise. And he's got Cherry. Chisco always taking it to his left. We need try. Now Sajid takes a shot. Oh, it's just gone wide. Second time, even Perry. Positions and they can. Well, he can suddenly spread it. With accuracy, sort of 50 60 yard passes. And Narayan Das put ball in on Wu. Oh, what a goal that is to start off his hero ISL account. Cross comes in from deep, and around the hour mark, could there be a comeback for Odisha? 
They certainly feel so. And something to cheer finally. They've got to be careful though. It's a four on three here. Coro, Brandon Fernandez, and Doran Soro makes the save. Brandon back on the ball again. This time the cross comes in and Doran Soro once again getting down in time. Bumu, his header. On target but save. Two good saves by the goalkeeper. Brandon should have scored. He got it tangled up between his feet. Good tackle by Lenny on the halfway line with Vinny Wright. Good use of the ball from Cotto. That's one save. Perez takes the corner. A lot of face on it. There it's 2 2. We have a game on. All for on Wu. All for Orisha. They're back in it. 3 2. 65 minutes gone. And if you thought this game was done and dusted, well, you thought wrong. Orisha have different ideas. Well, I'm sure that's on Wu too. Rises at the near post, gets the flick. I'm surprised he's got in front of Mataru Fall. Kicking the turf afterwards. Oh, a little bit kicking off again. Sajito's got to watch himself. Keep your arms down, young man. Yellow card at Edu Badia. Yeah, well, he was having a nibble. Brandon tore up the shot. Settled for the pass oh. towards Mandar. Sent in. This is much better. Oh, oh. And Diagne finally <laughs> clears it. Wow. <laughs> Scenes. <laughs> Manvir keeps the ball in play. Down the right. Koro's waiting. Len is waiting. Manvir looks up. Cuts it back. Koro! Well, if there ever had to be a coronation for King Koro, this is that match. That goal. That celebration. And an iconic venue. And lest we forget in the years to come, a reminder. Ferran Korominas, 50th goal, sealing his hero ISL legacy. And probably sealing this game. Manvir. Diagne gets a foot in. Manvir keeps the ball with him. Manvir on the left side, Goran Soros spills it, and, but then finally gets to it and latches on. He's made a couple of decent saves tonight, Don Soros. I'm not quite sure about that substitution that didn't make it. Full time. And Goa have seen it through once again. It was the same story when they allowed Chennai in a fight back, but then they just find that fourth goal and kill the game off once again Gambao still has to win against this particular counterpart but Orisha for all their fight and with a new striker already on the scoreboard just not enough in the end 3-0 in the first 45 and then a quick double from Onwu within six minutes